So, design R, week 12. Cameron? 12. 12, it's week 12 already. already. Exhibit's just literally around the corner. Not literally, because then the exhibit would be like there somewhere. It's figuratively, date wise, around the corner. Around, um, around the weekend. Yes. Cameron? Mm -hmm. You weren't here last week, were you? Mm -hmm. No. I was not here last week. So, I was away. You have something to show week. us, don't you? Whoa. <laughs> Jeez, getting a bit personal. <laughs> Um, so what's yes. happening now? Sorry. Cam's doing his thing on there. And because of the new iOS update and Mac update, we can record directly into QuickTime, which is freaking amazing. Look at that. Which is really Look cool. At that. Makes it a lot easier to record. Um, yes. Because we were using some dodgy program before to record, and this is a thousand times better. The day after we finished our video, this comes out. Mm. Anyways, what have you got so, to show us? <clears throat> So today we're going to re-record parts, now that we've got a better way to record, we're going to re-record um, some of the screen capture for the prototype for, for Designer, um, for, for the video that we'll be showing for the exhibition basically. Um, so I'm just going to be running through the different things that can be done on the program, um, and we'll use this footage in our video when it's done. So, ready? Yep, Are that's you, recording. So he's just started recording. Started recording there. Alright, so let's just bring up... Powered by Unity Splash Screen, which we're going to change. Don't tell Jason. Alright, so we'll get it the nice way. Look at this. This oh, is the yeah, way that it's designed to run. Um, it looks pretty cool. You can actually see the camera feed in the background of the menu. And uh, this is just a login Hang menu. On. Oh, is it not recording? It, you quit the app and it just shit itself. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I quit the app again. Hold on. Yeah, it should itself again. Okay. Now it's working. All right. Uh, okay, now that it's recording again, um, so it actually creates a for the collaboration part. It creates an online server. So the name you choose to the server you want to connect to, and then your username, so who you are in the server. Um, this is this prototype is nearly complete um, for what we're going to be showing on the day, but there's still some minor things that need to be done. Um, one such thing is we're going to have drop-down menus rather than actually type it in yourself. Um, but if we just log in, it connects to the server, and we're in the application. So once we scan it, our object is a couch, which is currently underground a bit, and we also have a little virtual persona in the corner there of who our client is essentially. It's a, it's a little girl, the uh, hair is currently missing. So if we select the model, we get the uh, menu on the bottom, which looks a lot nicer than our last menu. We have sliders for all the different features. And um, so for example, if I just want to move it up so it's not sinking in the ground, I can just change the position slider on the Y, and that looks a bit better. Um, so we can also move it around so we can get a full perspective. It went laggy for a moment. Hayden made a post. <clears throat> So you can always get like a full perspective, look right in on things, move around it. It's all really cool. Get behind it. Um, as long as the marker's in sight. <clears throat> um, so the other things we can do, we can rotate the model on X, Y, and Z directions. Like that, you know, mixture of both. Um, these sliders will probably change to buttons for rotate for the final one to make it a bit easy. Um, there's also currently some bugs on the model itself that we're working out. Um, position, so you can move it to the sides, uh, move it up and down, and move it forward and back. Can we grab that last one? Yeah. All the changes you make sync across the server to anyone else connected. So if I was to change, say, the scale, make it a bit wider, then anyone else watching this will also now see the sofa as being quite wide. More of a lounge than a sofa now. Uh, you can also change its scale in all directions. Make it more like a bed. Um, yeah. On top of that, we can also change the texture of it. Um, so you can see now it's, it's more of a wooden one, I think. Um, and also change the color of it, so we can make it red. We can make it blue. Um, we're going to have more colors and textures in by the final one as well. Um, on top of that, the little persona model we can actually change by clicking the button in the corner. We can make it a little guy instead. Um, toggle between them. Um, so yeah. Oh, just lost it. Oh, it might go better if we scan it again. Uh, essentially. 
So this part just needs to be improved on the weekend as well, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, but it's a simple fix. Um, what else? Um, that's pretty much everything the app's going to do on the day. Um, we're going to have multiple... I'll close it up. Yeah. <clears throat> we're also going to have like lots of iPads, um, lots of different markers for different models as well. Um, so we'll encourage people, people who look at it, they can pick it up, they can play around with it, look at the different models, change the different models, and, um, and see that it updates for other people using it as well, which is really cool, because that's the, that's the whole collaboration side of things, um, which is a little hard to show at the moment, because I've only got one iPad sitting here. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty cool, um, just about ready for the day. Um, yeah. Anything else? Um, what else should we mention? Just put it like that. Um, is that... Oh. What we... Um, thank you. Uh, I just submitted the posters and business cards for printing. So Officeworks assures me it'll be done by Monday. Um, so I'll have to go in, get all our stuff, and then come in and set up. Exhibit's pretty much planned out. We know what we're doing. We know how we're setting it up. So we're pretty cruisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like... Our exhibit's going to look pretty awesome. Um, like Squishy said, we've got posters, we've got cards. We're going to have a nice setup table. Um, we're trying to also get a projector so that one of the iPads um, will be broadcasted onto a screen, basically. Um, so people, anyone standing around can see. Um, so it should all look pretty cool. Um, the app itself, aside from a few bugs, it's almost there, almost done. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you know we can put on a bit of a show and um, people will like our products. Mm -hmm. Cool.